Hi everyone, this is Ben with Airnest. In this video, we're going to talk about setting up multiple points of interest and how Airnest will transition between them and automate gimbal movement depending on how the flight path is designed. So let's use this flight plan as an example. We currently have point of interest 1 situated over this house with an altitude of 0 feet. And then point of interest 2 is over the woods here at an altitude of 215 feet. Now this flight is set up as an incremental climb, starting at 45 feet and ending at 255 feet here at waypoint 4. And notice we'll transition to point of interest 2 mid-flight between waypoints 2 and 3. Now when we're transitioning between two points of interest, it's important to know that the speed of the turn and the speed of the gimbal pitch is determined by a few key factors. First of all, the speed of the drone during flight. In this flight, we have that set at eight miles per hour. Number two is the distance between waypoints during the transition. So you'll notice there's a nice gap here between waypoints two and waypoint three. And finally, the placement of the point of interest in relation to the transitional waypoints. So you'll notice that with point of interest one, it's almost positioned due west of waypoint two, and point of interest two is placed just about the same in relation to waypoint three. So we're not going to see a considerable change in pan, but with the altitude change in place, we'll notice a considerable difference in pitch during this transition. So given that this is a relatively short flight, with the POI transition in place and respective altitude changes, it's going to end in a really smooth, overarching shot of the surrounding area. So let's take a look at this flight plan in action. Now that we've seen that flight, let's take a look at a different approach. What we're looking at now is the exact same flight plan with one change. You'll notice we've added an extra waypoint here between the previous POI transition. This is now waypoint 3. And we've assigned this new waypoint to point of interest 2 as well. So what this means is that the transition is going to happen much faster given the shorter gap. We're also going to have a much more drastic turn because the transition now happens over a much shorter distance. So these are just a couple experiments to show how Airnest handles multiple points of interest and how you can design your flight plan to leverage these transitions. Thanks for watching and here's the result.